Hey, it's Lacey Langford and it's time for What the Heck Wednesday. This week's What the Heck comes from a reader that wants to know, what the heck should I be doing with my money in 2018? Well, that is a great question and to answer it, I've come up with seven steps to help get you your financial life in order in 2018. So if you're ready, let's do this. The first step is to make a plan. How do you want to end up financially in 2018? So do you want to be out of debt? Do you want to have $2,000 saved? Do you want at the end of 2018 to have increased your financial education? Whatever your goal is, once you set that, then it's easier to set the steps you're going to take to reach that goal. So that's really important is to set your goals at the beginning of 2018 of how you want 2018 to end. Number two step is to, the two step, <laughs> number two is to make a spending plan. You need to have a clear view of what you have going on financially, what you have coming in and out, how much money you're making and how much money you're spending. Once you have that, then you can figure out how to adjust to reach those goals. So if it's getting out of debt, then having a spending plan will show you how much money you have extra to pay towards your debt. If you want to save more, a spending plan can show you how to where, how much extra you have to put into your savings each month. All right, so it's really important to create that spending plan to have an overall picture of your current financial state. The third step is get out of debt. If you currently have debt, that should be one of your goals for 2018, is to finally get that off of your back. It's not gonna disappear overnight, and money's just not gonna fall in your lap to pay it off. So you're gonna have to work for it. You're gonna have to take action to change that, because if you keep doing the same things each month, month after month for the whole year, you're gonna have the same results. You're still gonna be in debt. So make the commitment to get out of debt in 2018 using something like a spending plan and changing your habits. Number four should be to save more, especially right now if you're not saving any money at all, saving money should be your goal for 2018 to build up a little cash flow in case you have problems or unexpected expenses. Um, also save money for your goals if you want to buy a new car save money for a down payment. If you want to have more money at Christmas, start saving money. A great way to do that is to make your savings automatic. Set it up to come right out of your pay every month, straight into your bank accounts. That will help you build up your savings faster than you can imagine. You start to get used to living without that money and it builds up without you even know it. it's working in the background. So save more money in 2018 is number four. Number five is save money for retirement. Yes, you should save money for your short-term goals or if you want something like a down payment for a house, those should be saving goals. But also, you should be saving money for retirement. So in 2018, make that a commitment. Make it automatic through payroll deductions from the TSP or your 401k or you can set it up automatically from your bank account to move to an individual retirement account. By doing this, same thing with working on a regular short-term savings, the money is gonna to start to build up. You get used to living without that money and it's working behind the scenes and in the background so it will be there in the future. Because right now, don't forget, I know I say it all the time, but you are saving money for two people, for yourself and your 80-year-old self. And if you are not spending less than you make right now and saving, then you're not covering the rent for your 80-year-old self. You're not gonna have the quality of life you want at 80. So it's important now to save for your retirement. So that is number five, save for retirement. Number six is stop buying stupid stuff. I know that sounds very easy, but for some people, it's a little harder than it sounds. You have to really think about stuff before you buy it. Take a moment to center yourself before you actually swipe your card or pay cash for it. Think about, do you really need this item or is it something that you want? You want to make sure that you are spending money on things that you really need, not something you want. And if it is something you want, then take a cooling off period. Think about it. If you're really going to use it or um, if it's necessary or can help your life make it easier, then yes, do it. But 
really think about it before you buy. So number six is stop buying stupid stuff. Number seven is do you stop in 2018 keeping up with the Joneses or keeping up with other people financially? They are not going to help you pay your bills. They are not going to help you save money. Okay, so don't compare yourself to anybody else with your money. You need to do what works for you. Some people save more. Some people can't afford the newest iPhone or the latest and greatest in technology. Um, some people are working on other goals to save for their business or save for um, college for their kids. You have to do what works for you and your family financially. Keeping up with peop other people is, is just pointless. So in 2018, stay focused on your goals, your family goals for your finances, and that way you can help stay on track. All right, so I hope those seven tips help you get your money to where you want it to be in 2018. But now I want to know, what is your biggest takeaway? What the heck did you learn from all of this and these seven tips to help you get you your financial life where you want it to be in 2018? Put it in the comments below because I definitely want to know. If you want to learn more about money and military, head over to LaceyLangford.com. You can sign up for my email list where you'll get access to my insider information and my latest updates. See you next week. That place. Okay, so three, two, one.